The amazing Mavis Staples with a live version of Freedom's Highway here on the afternoon show. It's KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle, heard all over the world online at KEXP.org. Today is International Women's Day. KEXP is celebrating by playing all women, women identifying and non-binary artists all day long. We've also hosted two live performances already today with bands from the Rain City Rock Camp for Girls. And now joining me live on the afternoon show, Jessica Dobson of Deep Sea Diver. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me back. I am really excited. I can't wait for the new album. Thank you. And I'm excited about uh, what you're going to do today. And uh, first, before we get rolling, do you mind introducing your fabulous musicians? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be joined by my dear friend, Taz Gyu, who is also married to our bass player from Deep Sea Diver, Garrett, and she is lovely. And uh, I also have Natalie Shetman from the band Joseph here with me today. Hello. And she sang on the cover that we released today, which I'll be playing as well, the Leslie Gore cover, You Don't Own Me. And so thank you so much for coming up from Portland and seeing you with me again. Love you. So Welcome happy. to KEXP. It's great Thank having you, you here. Um, Jessica, International Women's Day, what does that mean to you? Well, I mean, I feel like every day is that, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. it's a time to take a second and reflect on what it means to be a woman or a woman identifying. And um, it just, it feels like a powerful day. And for me personally, to just kind of shout encouragement to women and uh, to be bold, to be free and be who we are and to recognize the things that have gotten in our way at times. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm very encouraged by today. And I feel like I've just made for some reason a, a lot of like female friends over the last year in the music industry. And so it, I'm very happy about that. You know, you guys included here with me today and like, so yeah, just an encouraging day. For we'll me. talk a little bit about the music industry and the local scene, but uh, first, how about some songs? Now, um, we're going to hear a new Deep Sea Diver song in a bit. Yes. But mm -hmm. you've put together uh, some special songs today, uh, a bunch of covers, uh, songs by women who have inspired you throughout your career. Can you uh, tell me about the first song you've got? Oh, yeah, happily. Uh, <laughs> this first one is Mariah Carey's Fantasy, which uh, you guys, I think, debuted or premiered a few years ago when we released the cover of it. I know, it was so, awesome. Yeah, a lot of people, I don't think, have heard that recorded version, though, so well, this will be like the first time. I'm playing it live, and it'll be on the air. Tell um, me about the song. What What absolutely. is it about the song or uh, Mariah that that uh, inspires you? Oh, yeah. So <laughs> she was like the first pop star that I fell in love with. And um, I would run home from, I think it was elementary school, like every day to see the fantasy video on VH1. And that, I don't know, the song just reminds me of my childhood and what it meant to be free. And I would dance in front of the mirror and be a total dork. And that's still who I am. So. Um, uh, nobody has her range. It's pretty insane. I don't. I won't attempt to do like the eight octave like <laughs> insanity that she performs. Yeah. Um, but it was just I don't know. Really fun to take this pop song and Tom Tom Club. That was the original sample it was taken from, and so it, it's just a really vibey pop song. It's Jessica Dobson live on the afternoon show. This is a live premiere of a cover of Mariah Carey's Fantasy.
You're just a sweet, sweet fantasy, baby It's just a sweet, sweet fantasy, baby Jessica Dobson, Jessica Dobson, Natalie Taz, live on the afternoon show. Uh, and a cover of Mariah Carey's Fantasy. Awesome cover. Thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. It, it, <laughs> it really was a lot of fun. Looking forward to folks seeing the video of, uh, of this performance. What, what do you have next? Next, we have the song that you guys so graciously premiered this morning, which is our cover of, Deep Sea Divers cover of Leslie Gore's You Don't Own Me. And which Natalie sang on as well. Woo! Yeah. This is out today. Out today. And uh, a quick note about it to you. If, um, if anybody buys this song off of our Bandcamp site, all of the proceeds go to the wonderful nonprofit organization, the Aurora Commons, and specifically to the She Clinic, which is a, like, just a wonderful program mm -hmm. that serves over 300 women that live and work are unhoused along Aurora Avenue and uh, provides many services for them and where they would otherwise feel a lot of fame, or I'm sorry, shame and fear for going to a hospital or mm -hmm. something. Um, it's non-judgmental, trauma-informed services for them. So give generously, all the money goes to them. Yeah, thank you for that. Just head on over to Deep Sea Divers Bandcamp page. All right, you guys, you guys ready, ready for another one? Yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs>
Jessica Dobson, live on the afternoon show, KEXP with the uh, 60s anthem, actually an anthem for all times, Leslie Gore's You Don't Own Me. Tell me about first hearing that song. You know, I have to admit, I didn't actually hear it until when you guys asked me to pick uh, a handful of songs for, I think it was like 2016 or 17's International Women's mm -hmm. Day. It was actually Taz who's singing with me that she'd be like, that would be a good song to talk about. And that was the first time I think I heard it. I'd only heard It's My Party. That's what she's known for. Yeah, yeah. And um, I just instantly fell in love with it. And it's just, I mean, it's sad that it's still a relevant anthem. <laughs> <No>. But <laughs> here we are. <laughs> here we are. Yeah. Uh, here we are live on KEXP. Yeah. Jessica Dobson, Taz, <laughs> Natalie. And uh, it's International Women's Day. And... We are celebrating today all day long, uh, playing uh, all women, women identifying, non-binary artists. Also, uh, you are uh, this afternoon playing songs from women that have inspired you. What do you have next? Oh, next is one of my heroes, uh, Leslie Feist, better known as just Feist. And this song is called I'm Not Running Away. And I picked this song because it was one of those songs that got me through a very, very long and rough season of just like severe depression kind of coming off mm -hmm. off the last album cycle um and going right into the studio and then just like i felt like everything in my body just kind of stopped and or stopped working <laughs> emotionally and physically and like um i just kept playing when this record was released it's called pleasure um i'm not running away was just something that really kept me going and tell me about the role that music plays in those moments of like depression or oh, exhaustion man. or darkness well it's a lot of songs on repeat <laughs> <laughs> um i mean it is i think for people that love music it's it's always been a, a place to escape to and so i'm often in my head a lot and take a lot of walks and wear headphones and <sighs> sometimes even if i don't know what it means at the moment like mm -hmm. it's you know, these lyrics didn't necessarily relate with every single one of them, but there's the feeling of, or the, just this one line you grab onto in a song, and that there's two lines in this song where I'm not running away, and um, she keeps repeating constant growing up. Cool. And that's what I want to do all the time, and I don't, I don't want to stop growing up. It's so interesting that you as an artist turn to others' music like we do to your music, because mm. we find that same, that same comfort or, you know, um, I'm sure you hear this from from fans and stuff yeah. when uh, when people tell you what certain songs of yours mean to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it means a lot. So this song does that for you. Uh, Feist is amazing. Oh, she's so good. I think she's there's a, a new album player. coming out. Are you serious? I, I, I think so. I've, wow. I've heard a few inklings, so I can't wait. But uh, I can't wait That's to hear great. this, too. This is your cover of I'm Not Running Away. Yeah. Make sure I'm in tune. Uh, I want to dedicate this song to my friend Kyle. Hi. It got hard for me to believe in true love Constant growing up na, 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 na. I'm not running away No, I'm not running away Depend on constant growing up. La 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 la. 
difference between night and day We watch the moon rise and all that indicates And I've got a home in you that noon illuminates Together alone in you and I'm not running away You've got to carry I'm not running away Water is flowing like a stay Constant growing up Jessica Dobson live on KEXP Where the Music Matters covering Feist I'm Not Running Away Beautiful version of that Thank you very much so, um, you've been uh, around the music industry for a while. Yes. You, you started out in L.A. You were signed to Atlantic Records when you were 19 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, you also, uh, after that, played with Beck, Connor Oberspoon, The Shins, before launching Deep Sea Diver. And can you tell me about what that early experience was like for you in the industry? Yeah, man. <laughs> it was just a lot of scrappiness running around L.A., playing small gigs, trying to get people to hear uh, the demos that I had made at like age 19. Um, and then kind of long story short, you know, signing a record label, so like wet behind the ears, not knowing what I was doing, um, signing to Atlantic and then being a little bit bewildered by the whole experience, kind of got lost in the system and, and then starting over again. And really, I think the starting over thing was playing with Beck because I had kind of given up on my own endeavor for the moment and then went towards being, you know, uh, more of a sideman for the, for the, the guitar moment. hero. <laughs> yeah. I learned a lot from that time. Um, can you tell me, uh, from your perspective now, having gone through that, are there spe specific parts of the music industry that you find to be more empowering or empowering? Oh man. Uh, well, you guys to begin with, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it's, it's few and far between. It depends. Momentum's everything. Uh, when you have it, it can feel like empowerment. When you don't, it feels like it could be empty and that people aren't really into what you're doing anymore. I think it varies from person to person. You know, there are great people at labels um, and then some which I don't really understand or see eye to eye with, you know, how, with how they choose music, but I don't know. Are there things that can be done within the music industry to make it more empowering for uh, women or women identifying artists? Oh man, I think it's happening. I, for me, on like, I think definitely in the studio. I uh, for this last record that we recorded, um, the studio can be an intimidating place, especially for female engineers and producers. And uh, I think it's been really cool to see. Uh, I think Phoebe Bridgers just produced a record. Um, I'm trying to think of some other females that I've seen come Brandy across the Carlyle scene. Brandy Carlisle, yeah. And Nico Case. Mm -hmm. um, it's, there's a buzz starting to happen where it's demystifying the process of being a producer and owning your own work. And, and like, um, you know, I got the opportunity to co-produce this album with my friend Andy Park. Um, and uh, I, I think that I'd like to see that be a more empowering place, like on a broader scale to where it's, it's hard to ask technical questions sometimes without being made to look like a fool. And so I think that's an, an area that it can improve. Yeah. Can you see sort of uh, yourself mentoring others in that respect? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. So uh, you just mentioned co-producing mm -hmm. the new album. Yeah. So there's a new Deep Sea Diver album. So is it done? It's 99%. <laughs> it's mostly mixed and mostly finished, and there's like a few moving parts that, yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. that we're waiting on, but it's 
theoretically finished. Um, yeah. when, uh, when do you think that might be coming out? Um, that depends on which label puts it out, and we're yeah. in the middle of that process right now, which is crazy. That, yeah. That's cool. Well, it's I a can't, roller coaster. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, do you mind playing a track from it? I would love to. Okay. Yeah, I got to switch over to the piano. This is uh, Jessica Dobson of Deep Sea Diver live on the afternoon show here on KEXP International Women's Day. And uh, we're going to get a live premiere of an of a unreleased song from the upcoming Deep Sea Diver record. All right. This song is called Walking on a Switchblade. And it's about, um, I know I mentioned the Aurora Commons and the She Clinic, which is where all the money is going for um, if you purchase the song through Bandcamp, the You Don't Own Me song. And uh, the commons I spent the last two years working at with a lot of the women that frequent. And uh, the song was kind of written about my experience being around them and how wonderful they are. She was on the way to her apartment Walking on a switchblade Both of us headed in the same direction I could hear what she was saying I know you get so damn so down Your father was a man of a thousand excuses never tried to make it right She learned not to flinch even with all those bruises hoping things would change in time just want you to be free But all you love is locked in a dream And now you're ready to give up this time I know you get so down It's harder than you think I will get so down It's hard to receive I know you get so
Wow, beautiful song. Thank you. That is a little taste of uh, the upcoming Deep Sea Diver uh, release. At least an acoustic uh, or sort of piano stripped down yeah, version. Yeah, exactly. The, the piano ballad version of it. I, exactly. So um, the last album, Secrets, 2016's album, very guitar heavy. Mm-hmm. Um, what can we expect from the new album? But, uh, I think what you just heard and very guitar heavy. Yeah, yeah. So, so the uh, recorded version of that song, uh, how does that sound different than? Uh, I think the recorded version has kind of like a a John Bryan meets Tame Impala kind of feel, wow. and then it ends with like a pretty heavy guitar solo. But um, when I set out right to write this last record, I, w- I wanted it to be green. I always choose a color. The last one was red, more really? brooding and like dark. And I wanted this record to feel resplendent, full of life, full of color. And um, I think we did that. Nice. So. I uh, can't wait to hear it. Is there an is album title yet? Oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say <laughs> okay. it. <laughs> For now, we can call it the Green Album. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Deep Sea Diver, the album's almost done, and uh, so soonish it will be out yeah. once some uh, business stuff's taken care of. And just heard a song, a premiere of one of the songs on it, Walking on a Switchblade, as you mentioned, inspired in part by your work at Aurora Commons. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you pick up the new single that came out today on uh, Deep Sea Divers Bandcamp page, the cover of Leslie Gore's You Don't Own Me proceeds, or all, all of the money's going towards Aurora Commons. Yep. Um, how about one more song? One, uh, another it. cover. Yeah. I'm having a great time. Let's do 10 more. Let's <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do, you, what do you got next here? Oh, the lovely Janelle Monet singing Primetime. This was um, from, I think the record was called Electric Lady. Uh, from 2012, she puts on one of the best live shows I've ever seen in my life. That girl can dance and sing, and uh, yeah, she's incredible. And I, I, I'm just a big R&B fan. You might have gotten that from the first song we covered, yeah. but cool. Yeah, thank you, ladies, for being here with me. Thank yeah, thanks Natalie everybody. Tails, thank you so for much for listening out there. <laughs> All right. Talk, I'm watching the clock I can't wait till we get to rock I wanna scream and dream and throw a love parade Is that okay? Tonight it's me and you alone We'll make a call, won't even write a song See, I've been waiting and waiting for the time to say Listen, babe you're down and it's hard and you feel like you're giving your all baby i love always keep it real and true because baby it's a prime time for our love ain't nobody peeking about the stars above and it's a prime time for our love heaven is betting on Okay, okay. Tonight it's me and you alone. We'll make a call, won't even write a song. This will be a personal private dance. Your tail is hard. I feel like I've given it all. Baby, I love always right here for you. Cause baby, Prime time for our love Ain't nobody peeking but the stars above And it's a prime time for our love Heaven is betting on us and it's a prime time for our love Ain't nobody peeking but the stars above
the stars above and it's a prime time for our love heaven is betting on us all is full of love all is full of love all is full of love. Peeking by the stars above It's a prime time For our love Heaven is betting on us Wow, awesome cover, awesome set Thank you so much for having us, Kevin Cover of Janelle Monae's Prime Time uh, Jessica Dobson, Deep Sea Diver Live in studio here on KEXP and uh, Natalie and Taz, beautiful vocals. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and uh, celebrating International Women's Today, I- International Women's Day today with the KXP community. Appreciate that. Oh man, thank you for having me. Uh, huge All thanks right. to the uh, KXP audio video crew for the uh, amazing job and the amazing work. Thanks to everybody who donates to KXP, making these kind of sessions possible. And today, our spring fundraising drive starts on air at 6 p.m. And uh, Gifts Now uh, will go towards our goal for the spring drive. So choose music, power KEXP, make a donation uh, online at kexp.org. Again, uh, Jessica, Taz, Natalie, thank you so much. That was beautiful. Thank you. It was awesome. This is uh, KEXP Seattle, where the music matters. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.